In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at 20 essential keyboard shortcuts that are going to tremendously improve your workflow in Ableton Live. The first shortcut is Command Option F, or if you're on Windows, Control Option F. What this does is it creates fades for audio tracks, and basically a fade will allow you to more easily edit the volume, and it's just a more intuitive way to view volume when you're just doing quick edits on a clip. So if I hit Control Option F, first I gotta select an audio, clip these red lines are gonna show up and then I can go ahead and do my fading and stuff and let's say I'm sampling something and there's like some clicks at the beginning uh, I can go ahead and fade that out or if I want to just shape a sample or something the fades are just a quick and easy way to be able to do that especially if you're doing one shots and stuff like that our second shortcut is command shift F and what this is going to go ahead and do is it's going to allow us to enable the playback follow mode which is just going to allow you to just follow your playback as you're playing through the song and this is just like a more visually appealing way to look through your tracks and stuff and instead of being zoomed out all the way, you can really pay attention to the small details. Just a useful little shortcut right there. This third shortcut is used for muting tracks and it is function and then any one of the 12 F keys. And what this will do is that depending on which F key you hit, it's gonna mute that corresponding track. A way that I could see this being used is if you were to organize your set to either have the first 12 tracks be the main ideas or maybe organize your live sets to be into 12 different groups that are grouped by type of sound so for example drums and then maybe synths or something like that well I could just listen to my song without the drums for example and then maybe try to bring them back in or I can take out you know the hi-hats so overall very useful it's just a quick shortcut that you can use that I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't know the last trick which was the muting only works with up to eight different tracks and that leads us into our fourth shortcut and that is FN which is function and then F9 or just F9 if you're on Windows. This is just a quick way to just start recording. So if I'm playing through something and I have this lead or something, I can just go ahead and trigger this uh, with, I can trigger the record function using FN and F9. And then you could stop and then bring it back in whenever you want to really. Our fifth shortcut is a pretty major one and it's definitely really useful and that is command clicking your functions. So you can either arm multiple tracks by holding command and clicking on multiple ones or you can solo multiple tracks by holding command and then clicking on the ones you want to solo together. And this has got to be my favorite function out of all the different functions that we have. and it can be triggered with command I and basically you want to make a selection first of how much area you want and how much space you need and then hit command I and it will insert a blank space uh, over your selection and push everything over what you can also do is instead of selecting a certain area if you know how many bars that you want uh, to free up you can hit command I over just a little line right here just select an area where you want some space and then put how many bars that you want to or yeah how many bars you want to free up so these next two functions pretty much go hand in hand and earlier I cut out a certain part so it's in my uh, clipboard and so the next function is going to be command shift V so if you're on Mac you know that command V is paste and what adding the shift button does is that it allows you to insert something and then also push over this the time simultaneously function uh, is command shift D 
So if you didn't know, Command D is the duplicate function, and when you duplicate stuff, it basically moves it over and copies it right over. And again, with Shift, you're adding all this time, and you're pushing stuff over. So very useful for uh, extending a certain part without having to drag stuff over and do all that monotonous work, you know? Next, we have Command L, and what this does is that if you select an area and you hit Command L, it's going to put a loop around it, and you can just keep looping this selection that you have. So I can get a really small one. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to go ahead and select the whole area under a loop, uh, you want to hit Command, Shift, and L, and it's going to select the whole area and it's a lot easier than dragging all the way down especially when you're in the multiple dozens of tracks in your song so for example let's say if I want to select this huge area I can hit command L to get the loop and then command shift L to select everything underneath and if you hit command and use the arrows you can expand or uh, make the area smaller under the loop and if you hit shift you can actually use the arrows to move the loop around so this is just a quick time saver for you if you're using the loop mode. Now also a little technique is clicking somewhere and then you can start moving around the playhead with command and the arrows. Um, so right now I'm hitting command and I can select the up, down, left and right arrows and it's gonna be very specific. Um, and if I start zooming out, um, it can move a little bit faster or over larger spaces. And it also works within your clip. So within a MIDI clip, I can hit Command and then very slowly move over the playhead using the arrows. This next shortcut is absolutely critical for achieving a really fast workflow in Ableton. And that is the shortcuts for MIDI and audio tracks. So insert, instead of inserting them manually by right clicking on the tracks and hitting insert audio track or insert MIDI track, you want to hit either Command T uh, for an audio track or Command Shift T for a MIDI track. And this is just gonna save you so much time in the long run. And uh, for Windows, it's gonna be Control T and then Control Shift T. Just replace Command with Control. Also, once you've created a MIDI track, you can actually make a selection over an area and hit Command, Shift, and M and that'll create a MIDI clip and this is gonna save you a lot of time. So if you recall earlier when I was doing the recording shortcut, I recorded this little clip right here and you may be wondering why this is relevant. We're going over this next shortcut which is quantizing. So as you can tell when I played it in, it's pretty close but it's not exact. And our next shortcut is going to be Command U. It seems pretty simple but this technique can be a little bit difficult to use if you don't understand how the grids work in Ableton. So down here we have this number and this shows us our how fast our note speed is or not how fast it is but how the grid is split up. So right now it's split up into 16th notes. But let's say I had a 64 note um, or a 32nd note grid and I hit command U. As you can tell this one was actually shifted off because it is going to the closest line, but if you're zoomed in too far with the grids, or if the grid is way too specific, it's going to move it to the closest one, regardless of what your own idea was. So to address that rhythm problem with the quantization, you can actually add a shift uh, to the command and do command shift and U. And wait, I gotta select an area. And then this is going to give you way more control over the rhythm of what you're quantizing and over the grid. So again, we wanted an eighth note quantization. And you can also add this end button. And it's going to adjust the lengths of the note to reach the closest line as well. And something that's very unique to this command is the amount. So this command is really special in that you can adjust how aggressive the quantization is. And so there you have it. So this next one is pretty self-explanatory and it's Command G, which is gonna allow you to group different tracks. So I can select three tracks and then I can hit Command G 
and it's going to make a group that I can now rename and then modify as its own separate track and add my own effects to the full group instead of each individual track. And it's basically like a bootleg return track. Not only can you do it with um, tracks, you can also do it with audio effects. So if I select these three effects and hit Command G, it's going to put them into an effects rack. This next shortcut is pretty basic and it's Command plus and then comma. And that's just gonna open up your preferences and it can get pretty uh, tedious to always go up to live and then to preferences and have to do all that. And you know, this is a pretty lazy shortcut, but you know, it can save you a few seconds. Finally, we have a really important shortcut and that is the consolidation shortcut. If you select an area and you hit Command J, it's going to make that whole selection into a single clip. So this is uh, useful not only for MIDI clips, but also for audio clips. So right here I have all these hi-hats. I can hit Command J and it's going to put it into one giant clip. And this is just good, obviously, for organizational purposes and uh, just visual appeal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely subscribe or at least leave a like so that you can get more suggestions for these types of videos. And there's definitely gonna be a ton more of these. There is an article in the description. All the GIFs that you saw are going to be down there and it's just gonna be a lot easier to read everything. So again, I'm super thankful that I was able to do the video version of this, but definitely check out the articles. It's a lot more in intuitive for coming back to this information later and as well subscribe to their newsletter to go ahead and get all these new techniques and tips and tricks right to your email. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys next time and thanks again for watching.